Well, that's Denby Castle, highest point, Denby Town, <coughs> in North Wales. And just to the side, and to the rear, Denby Castle, is a woodland called a Gwynyai. It's at the back and to the side. And in the Gwynyai is a cave. And that cave is called Cat's Eyes, and I'll explain a bit later why it's called Cat's Eyes. What I'm going to do today, or attempt to, to do, is have a look, get, get some photos of the inside. I'll take some photos of the outside. But my main aim is to get some photos of the inside of Cat's Eyes Cave. Um, it's a cave where, well, I used to call it my second home. When we were kids, we'd be in the Gwynyai nearly every day. And we'd be in that, that cave, Cat's Eyes Cave. I can't get in it today. I'm too big. Um, we were seven, eight, perhaps. Years of, years of age, you know, seven, eight or nine year olds. We could easily get into it in them days, but I can't get into it today. But what I'm gonna do, I've got an extension and I've got a still camera. A uh, year or two ago, this is the uh, Gwynyai, by the way. A year or two ago, um, I did get some footage with the GoPro, the GoPro that I'm using now. I, I put a torch on the top and lowered it down on a piece of cord and just slowly turned it round and the results were pretty good so I've returned today and I've got a still camera with me and I've, like I say an extension and I'm going to try and get some interior shots um, see what they turn out like so yeah that's what I'm going to do today this is the uh, the Gwynyai, Gwynyai Woods which is the back of the castle that's part of the town walls there castles the other side and the Gwynyai as I say is hidden away if you didn't know it's its exact location you'd probably have a job to find it and as I said earlier a bit later on um, I'll, I'll show you and I'll explain and, and you'll see why it's got its name cat size so anyway heading down into the Gwynyai And also, just uh, clean the lens. Also, if you're a regular to my channel, you'll know that the uh, Gwynyai also contains the Goblin Tower. <laughs> and I'm not going to mention it's haunted. And I'm not going to even mention that Cat's Eyes is haunted either. Oh, damn, I just did, didn't I? <laughs> anyway. Heading down to the uh, the main entrance. I'll do that first, and then I'll head up to the top part of Cat's Eyes, and then you'll see from the top part you'll see exactly why it's called Cat's Eyes. Not far off now from the main entrance, of Cat's Eyes, and as I said earlier, if you don't know where it is. It's uh, very missable. You can walk right past it. But anyway, there's the uh, Goblin Tower, which is haunted. I might not have mentioned that. And just on my left, the main entrance we used to use when we were kids to get into the cat's eyes. And as I said earlier, it's the main entrance there. Um, I'll show you later on. When I get up the top, you'll see why it's called Cat's Eyes. This is the cave here. It's the main entrance there. I'll just uh, quickly show you another way, but we used to use this to leave the cave. And it'll show you how, give you an idea of how small we were in them days, which is here. Oh, these brambles. Yes, yeah, so there. Hopefully, there's a hang on, I just this. Uh, can you see, it's a bit of a bit of a tunnel, it's only about four or five feet, something like that. But just to squeeze through there, and you can see in relation, well, you can see my hand probably give you an indication of how narrow it is. And you can see the size of that can. 
help so we just uh, and I said earlier there's no way today that I can get in there but that's the plan is to try and get some photos and anyway, I'll show you oh, these brambles are a menace yeah the actual cat's eyes bit is up there and hopefully it shouldn't be too overgrown hopefully I can make it to the actual top part but anyway this is the, the main way we used to get in uh, yes it is narrow but I can make it a few feet in that's where we used to go I don't know if this GoPro's making anything out but you'll see it on the photos anyway but it drops down and it does get more narrower at the bottom there it's about 10 10 12 feet something like that and then you're actually in the heart of the cave then so what i'll do two and three get the light yeah so what i'll do get my still camera extension and try and get some half decent photos and then i'll make my way up to the top part and i'll show you and explain exactly why this cave is called cat's eyes Right, heading up to the top part of Catalan's itself. Hopefully it shouldn't be overgrown. And this gate here is the back entrance to the section of town walls. Um, you can get a, a key from the castle or the lively or, or the glass onion cafe. And you can make your way around the, the uh, castle and the town walls. But we, we, in them days, it wasn't open to the public when we were kids. This is one of the ways in. We should just hop onto that ledge and just climb up there and over the top. Anyway, this is headed down. Now, hopefully, if I don't uh, slip, <laughs> I do all my own stunts, by the way. And you'll make my way to the top of way. Very slippy top of cat's eyes, and up here you will see how it's got its name. This is a, another entrance Whoa. I used to get in, but that used to be a, a grill. It used to be grills like three, and we used to slide underneath it, but you can see they've really blocked it off now. And we used to climb up, there's a wooden bridge climb up from beneath that wooden bridge and that's how we used to get on the town walls another way we used to get in was cozy corner but uh, hey, quite overgrown things i do to get a video eh anyway suck it down into the guinea that's if i don't end up down there myself I'll make it. Don't worry, I'll make it. It's the opening there to Cat's Eyes Cave, just over there, but very overgrown. Whoa, you don't want to go that way because there's quite a drop down there. But yeah, anyway. I had a feeling it would be overgrown. Oh, let's hope I can get into the entrance of cat's eyes. Wow, it's looking very, very overgrown. This video may go wrong. Well, that's a surprise. It's well overgrown. Hmm, plan B, I think. The entrance is here to cat's eyes, but it's very overgrown. Right, you'll have to bear with me. I'll have to try and see if I can clear this away. Uh, I was hoping to get this in one shot. So bear with me, I'll get back to you. Right, made a bit of a an opening. 
<sighs> things I do to get a, to make a video. Last time I was here, it must have been, it probably was a, f a couple of years ago, and it was the access was pretty. You can see there, that's the entrance to it. But uh, it wasn't like this when we were kids. <laughs> but anyway, wow. Things I do, hey? Eh? Things I do to get a video. It's Goblin Tower, by the way. Did I mention it's haunted? I might not have. It's haunted. Anyway, folks, uh, I've made it. Oh, my God. And you can see that little central like, column there. And it looks like two eyes. And that's why it's called Cat's Eyes. Oh, I made it. The actual cave is just down there. Get a bit nearer. Like I say, I'm going to use, well, hopefully, I'm going to use a still camera. Hopefully, the shots will come out because you can see, see around there. That's the actual inside the cave. And it's obviously dark because it's a cave. But yeah, this is it. This is the top part. Cat's Eyes Cave, and that's why it's called Cat's Eyes, because it's like two eyes. Ooh. Right, so I'll get me still camera out again, put it on the extension and take a few shots, and hopefully, at the end of the video, um, I might have some half-decent shots, so in advance, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed the photos that are going to follow.